we present our paper on graph neural networks for multi-robot active information acquisition. Swarms of collaborating robots have been deployed to semantically map unknown environments, monitor deforestation or wildfires, inspect critical infrastructure, or coordinate warehouse operations. Such applications and many more fall under the umbrella of designing informative paths to estimate a phenomenon of interest, also known as active information acquisition. Let's analyze the problem through the lenses of target tracking localization. In this video, there is a team of drones with non-dynamics equipped with ray sensors seen in blue. Their task is to estimate a hidden state. In this example, localize a known number of mobile robots seen in red of a known location with known dynamics. Typically, a prior estimate over the possible locations of the target is assumed that shall be updated using cumulative measurements and an estimator. For designing the paths, an information metric drives the robots to evaluate how informative their measurements are for localizing the targets. For example, the drones would design paths to minimize their inherent uncertainty over the locations of the targets. Given all the components, the active information acquisition seeks to compute the planning horizon and control inputs to optimize an information measure to better estimate a hidden state expressing a phenomenon of interest. Numerous works have been proposed to solve the problem. Despite the progress, there are still gaps to be filled regarding three main challenges of the problem, scalability in growing numbers of robots and dimension of the environment, optimality of the paths, and adaptability to unanticipated events. Greedy approaches are typically computationally efficient but get trapped in local optima, while non-myopic search-based approaches sacrifice computational efficiency in favor of optimality. Non-myopic sample-based methods can find feasible solutions very fast, while recent learning-based approaches only work for a single robot. In this work, we design a method to push the boundaries in all of the axes by introducing the information-aware graph block network. Our key contributions are summarized as follows. We are utilizing a graph neural network to design a distributed method for active information acquisition that is scalable, generalizes to previously unseen multi-robot configurations and environments, and is robust to communication failures. We are imitating a non-myopic sampling-based approach and exhibit near-optimal performances. To better understand our approach, we freeze the time at time step t. In the real world, the robots have knowledge about their current locations and have an estimate over the hidden state depicted by the Gaussian distributions. Within a communication range, they can exchange information with their neighbors through an underlying communication graph. Next, we define the state of the problem through the network graph equivalent to the communication graph endowed with node attributes. Every node of the graph represents a unique robot and contains the robot's position, prior estimates, current measurements, and map of the environment as its attributes. The network graph is fed to the RGB network, which, which maintains the structure of the graph and updates its attributes. For each node, the updated attribute corresponds to the control action for the index robot. The core of our network is a message passing layer. Initially, the first attribute allows each node to create the robot binary grid map representing the robot's position into the map. For each node, message passing aggregates the incoming positions to create its neighboring binary grid. Let's see how the network leverages the prior estimates and the measurements. In the distributed setting, we assume that each robot has its own estimate about the phenomenon of interest, like for example the Gaussian distributions over the target's locations. Each node's estimate is then propagated through the graph. A new aggregation function computes the magnitude of uncertainty for each node as a weighted sum of the incoming neighbor's estimates and then local measurements. Finally, each node holds an occupancy grid of the environment. The aggregate information is locally processed by a sequence of ResNet blocks to compute the control action for the index robot. We trained our network to imitate a centralized sampling-based algorithm thanks to its efficiency in retaining optimal paths. It should be emphasized that the network is trained on a team of 10 robots, 10 static targets on a 20 by 20 meters environment. For all experiments conducted, the same network has been utilized with zero fine tuning. An example of how our network performs can be seen on the right. Six robots are deployed to localize 30 static targets on a new environment. It should be mentioned that the target assignment is a behavior completely learned by the network itself. In this experiment, we examine how our network performs when scaling the number of robots and targets. We run our expert on 100 random initializations for each configuration and compare the performance of IGPNet to that of a random walker and a decentralized non-myopic method. We present the percentage of successful missions. We can see that our method performs equally well to the sampling-based algorithm and that performs it for larger configurations. Once again, it should be emphasized that the network was not fine-tuned for this experiment. 
To demonstrate HB network's efficacy in growing problems, we further compare the percentage of increase in planning horizon when measured against the septotically optimal centralized expert. In the 10 robots, 10 target setup that HB net was trained on, it performs similarly to the centralized sampling based algorithm. However, when we vastly scale the problem, the RGB net consistently produces near optimal paths and even outperforms the centralized expert occasionally. We further scale up the dimension of our problem and test the proposed method on 100 robots, 100 targets, and an environment of 50 by 50 meters. We can see that even if the network was originally trained on a downscale of 10, it successfully solves the problem. In our paper, we further provide experiments validating our method's robustness to robot failures and packet losses. Thank you. Hope to see you in our post session and presentation.